Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told from the graph of g, state the intervals on which g is continuous. So in order to do that, we take the interval from negative infinity to infinity, and we take out points where the function is discontinuous. So we can see at x equals negative 2, the function is approaching the same point from both sides, but it's not equal to the value of the function because we have an open circle, which means that the function does not equal um, whatever this value is at x equals negative 2. At uh, x equals negative 1, right, we can see the function is going off to negative infinity, and in fact there is no value where the function exists, therefore at x equals negative 1 we also have a discontinuity. And I should specify here that continuous means that the limit as x approaches a of a function is equal to the value of the function at that point. So for x equals negative 2, x equals negative 1, and the points that we're going to get to, this is not true. At both of negative 2 and negative 1, not only do they not equal each other, but f of a doesn't even exist. That's opposed to x equals 0, our next point, where we do have a value of the function, right? But we can see from the left, it's, or sorry, from the right, we're not approaching that value, right? Remember, shaded in means the value equal, the function equals that value. Open circle means it doesn't equal that value. From the right, we are not um, approaching that value, so the function is discontinuous. And at x equals 1, not only are the, um, is the function approaching two different values um, from the left and the right, but neither of them are even equal to the point. Um, not that that matters because you only need 1 for it to be discontinuous, but we have x cannot be equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, or 1. So writing the intervals on which g is continuous, uh, we start from negative infinity, we go up to negative 2, uh, parentheses to denote that it's an um, open interval, it does not include negative 2, then from negative 2 to negative 1, then from negative 1 to 0, and then from 0 to 1, and finally, from 1 to infinity. Over these intervals, the function g, which we've determined from this graph, is continuous.